Good morning, guys. Shimon, Shimon. How are we doing? Um, it's about 10:30 a.m. this uh, Saturday. It's the weekend. Love it. And um, well, what are we doing today? What are we doing this weekend? More like it. Decided to head to Atlantic City. That's right. Heading to the Vegas of the East. Next stop, AC, all done. Not bad, not bad at all. Argentina 1-0, it's about quarter past eight, 1-0. Uh, our buddy, The Rock, so let me just uh, see what the uh, hullabula is all about. Let's open it up. Wow. DJ, you nailed it. Smooth. A little bit of a sweet tone. A little smoky, just a tad. The Reposado ought to be. But yeah, good job, DJ. I approve. That's it. This is Saturday night. We're up in AC, out and about, rest and fly. Because you know that's how it is. We're rolling tonight, Saturday night. We're having a great time. And, uh, yeah, nice just begun. We'll see how this. <laughs> Beautiful night out of here, guys. It's amazing. I feel everyone's back. No masks, no nothing. I don't know about that, but. Uh, this night's walk, this night's awesome. Come on, let's take, let's walk, let's take a walk down and go a walk. That's right, go off to the Ocean Hotel. Let's see what's going on. Saturday night. Trying to have a good time here for my man's bachelor party. Oh, shit! Nice to join you guys. Oh. Let's have a good night. At All right. Elvis Rods, you see that around you too. Come on. This is how we doing. This is how we doing. This is how we doing.
That's it. At H2O, at Ocean Hotel, pass to the club, smoking my stogies. If anything you gotta know about me, I love my cigars, I love my stogies. That's that's really it for me. It's 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 part of a good night out. If I ain't smoking my stogie, that means I'm missing out on something. It ain't a good night. This is the sign. guys so if you haven't already guessed it I'm at the Oceans Hotel waiting for our keys to come in and uh, we, started, we started to be uh, a little smart about it by putting our name down for brunch uh, while we were waiting for check-in gonna get our keys in a bit but we were at the Hotel Claritin last night and now we're here the same place that we were partying up in the club uh, uh, late last night but didn't get to explain the situation as much as I should have but our reservation was canceled just one hour away from getting into Atlantic City. The hotel called us up like, you know, hey, listen, just want to let you know there's been a flood in our property and Hotels.com should have called you up in the morning uh, letting you know that they've transferred the reservation. That did not happen at all. But one hour away from AC and we get this call. This is a trip we've been looking forward to for a while. I got my mom here, our first trip since our, ba uh, our baby. and. So yeah, we were needless to say a little worried, uh, concerned. I mean, what's going on? This is, you know, the suspense is killing us. So we called hotels.com and there was an hour wait. I, I put my our, our number down for them to give us a call back, but that's not gonna help. So put our brains to work, made a few phone calls to whatever uh, rooms were available that day. And none of them had our reservation. And I didn't get the call from hotels.com. And we're like, okay, what do we do? Let's make a reservation in another hotel. So we actually came into Oceans yesterday and they were full. They were completely full. So that's why we were at the Claritin for one night and we decided, all right, we got uh, Sunday available. So we're gonna be out over here. So we're here right now. Um, lesson learned, don't focus on the problem. Focus on the solution. Yeah, I'm still mad at Hotels.com. Yeah, I feel like giving them a piece of my mind because we never got a call back from these guys, right? And finally, when they did call back, they're like, oh, we're going to transfer you to another department to see if we can. Uh, they're going to help you out with the reservation. And I went, so wait a second. So it's been canceled, but you guys haven't made arrangements for an alternate reservation at another property. I was like, no. Anyways, you know, that's, that's, that's just ridiculous. Never again, Hotels.com. I don't want to mean to bash them. Maybe this whole trip about uh, bashing them. But my point over here is focus on the solution, not the problem itself. I'm here to have a great time. It's going well, and uh, can't wait to check out our room uh, after brunch. So we'll see, that's it. Stuff happens, life happens. Just have a good time, that's it. Brunch time, and one thing about me you should know, I don't eat my first meal until about five or six, so yeah, I'm on to that intermittent fasting. So obviously an exception if you're on a vacation, so take a look at it. And look what for dessert guys, look at that mouth. Look at that, look at that, look at the angles on that, look at the curves. It's uh, French dough stuffed with banana. Guys, uh, I have to share this with you, but this stuffed uh, French dough was just um, amazing. I mean, Look at that. Like, it was so good. I haven't had a French toast like this. I've stuck with banana. I got some syrup in there. It was just all, all, all too good. So if there's anything to get when you're out over here at this brunch place, make sure you get the French toast. The stuffed French toast with uh, banana. Hey, I might just be out over here tomorrow. I'm not sure if they have brunch, but if it's on the menu, I think I'm going to grab one. Put in 10 bucks. And here you go, made 50 bucks.
check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Saltiness and sweetness all in it. Mm. I've got the food just keeps on coming and coming. But I wanted to give you guys a snippet of the scene of the kitchen behind. So far the food's amazing. I love the uh, meatballs that they have, the uh, bacon wrapped dates and the potato bravo. A little tip over here, it's not on the menu, ask for it. First she did, and it is amazing. <laughs> That's my happy dance. The food was amazing. Uh, Bill, I don't know, but the food was great. Guys, that's freaking Chucky. That's freaking Chucky right there. That's good, it's good, it's good. Let's check it out, how it rock. We're at the Hot Rock Cafe, casino. Not a bad spot. Lots, lots going on over here. Hey! A bit quiet out over here. Weekend's done. But overall, fantastic. AC, you rock. Oh, good morning, guys. 8:30 a.m. Monday morning. Up and at him. I decided to hit the gym. Back to the work week, and then. Uh, perhaps get into the pool so let's see how this morning works out let's check out that gym and let's check out that pool right That pool though, right? I thought so myself. I got an indoor pool as well. Got the vibes rocking. In case you're wondering why it's just one luggage, because I put everything down, that's why. So we're on our way out right now. Check out.
made it back. Traffic wasn't bad, that bad at all. Um, had it been uh, coming back on the weekend. Also uh, missed out on uh, traffic uh, rush hour, so it was good. But wanted to end this video on a um, on a few closing remarks. Uh, the trip was amazing. Um, this was a trip that my wife and I were longing to um, after our child's birth, uh, Nova. Again, just to get away from it all, somewhere not too far from the city. And my mom was visiting in town as well, so you know, Atlantic City fit the bill. And she loved it. Uh, Nova loved it. She had a great time. Uh, she was great and on this first trip. No issues at all. Uh, we got lucky. And uh, one of the other things about this trip that was memorable was uh, this was her first time she managed to get into a pool. I didn't put that in the video. Just wanted to keep that uh, a little private, but she uh, she was kind of nonchalant. She seemed like she's been in that element before, <laughs> surprisingly. But um, she was great. And uh, I think, uh, as I told my wife, I think we're gonna have to make this an annual trip. Uh, had a great time, and uh, if you want a bit of a Vegas feel, I know, I say Vegas in quotation marks, it's a good fit, and getting into, into a great resort is key. Had a lot of fun, and I hope you liked the videos um, uh, that I put up. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It means a lot that I'm starting out this video again. It's just a, a little snippet into the daily life of myself, a new dad, as new parents, still trying to continue uh, our travel adventures. And uh, I want you to be part of this family. And I thank you for allowing me to uh, be a part of uh, a couple of minutes that uh, you get to see uh, my channel. So hope you loved it. And uh, God bless. Thank you. Shimo, shimo.